convection in Earth's mantle. I'm going to start over here on the left with the purple reading. And any of the bold words are going to end up being words you end up typing in to the boxes that are purple on the slide. The inside of Earth is composed of layers. The most superficial layer of Earth is the lithosphere. That means the layer on the very top. The surface of the lithosphere is called crust. The thicker crust is called continental crust, and the thinner crust under the ocean is called oceanic crust. The lithosphere is broken apart into large slabs called tectonic plates. Below the lithosphere is the mantle. The top portion of the mantle is called the asthenosphere. The lower portion of the mantle is called the rigid mantle. So take a minute, maybe pause the video, and add in to the purple boxes where you think all of those terms go. I'm going to go ahead and read the pink or light purple now. Rock in the asthenosphere is somewhat fluid. It is not molten or liquid, but plastic-like. Because it is plastic-like, it is able to transfer heat through convection. Convection is the transfer of heat from one place to another by the movement of a fluid. The fluid carries thermal energy with it. The movement creates a circular motion of warm and cold fluid. We call this movement a convection current, and you can notice that term will be used twice. I'm going to come over here and read what's in the red. Heat from Earth's core transfers to the asthenosphere. In the asthenosphere, the heat is transferred with convection currents. Deeper inside Earth, the mantle warms. Hot columns of mantle, that should say, of magma in the asthenosphere rise because hot mantle is less dense than cool mantle, or hot magma is less dense than cool magma. At the top of the asthenosphere, the mantle spreads out and cools. Cool mantle sinks to the lower asthenosphere. Eventually, the cooler material is heated and the convection current repeats. So you might want to start down here with warm and then follow the circle around. Now I'm going to read the orange part. Scientists believe connect convection in the asthenosphere causes tectonic plates to move. When the mantle spreads along the top of the asthenosphere, it transfers heat to the lithosphere. More importantly, the moving mantle pulls lithosphere with it. When the pull causes plates to move apart, we call that a divergent pattern. When the movement causes plates to come together, we call that a convergent boundary. So look very careful in those orange shapes and make sure you look, if it's an area where the plates are, arrows are going apart, the plates are moving apart, then that would be divergent. If it's an area where plates are coming together, that would be convergent. All right, I hope the read aloud helped you be able to fill in the diagram and we'll see you soon.